Hello everyone, hi, welcome to a rare Wednesday night recording session. Um, we're about to sit down and play rounds 3 and 4 of the Storm and Norman Challenge here at Cherry Brook Golf Club. Had to actually look over it and <laughs> make sure that I had the name right. Uh, quick check in on the scoreboard. Before we do that, a uh, very speedy recovery to Tiger Woods. I hope, hope he recovers uh, completely from his surgery, from his awful accident that he had the other day. Uh, would be remiss if I didn't say that at the beginning, at the top of a golf video. Hope, hope everything goes well with your recovery. Uh, anyway, uh, down to business. Let's take a look at the scoreboard here, if we can. There we go. So after two rounds, we're sitting at a very respectable thirty-second place, seven under par. Out of what did I say? One hundred fifty-seven. Cut line is all the way down here or at uh, the top 100 basically or making it through basically if you have even or higher you're pretty much you're pretty much a lot to get into the next round well I guess if you're watching this then the cuts already happened but there's a lot of people making it making it through here there's a lot of competitors this week big stacked field 157 uh definitely top spots looks pretty much unreachable and Danny is running as uh, Holding down the lead here with 18 under. Really good scores there. Two rounds, nine under par on both. Still leaving a lot on the table here. Christopher Maravelli posting a 60 here. That's incredible. That's incredible. Some really good rounds here at the top of the at the top of the charts here. But uh, hopefully in the not too distant future, we shall be joining them at the top of the scoreboards. Uh, but we'll focus. We'll focus on just trying to do the best we can first, and hopefully we'll just kind of stay the course, stay below par, remain competitive, and you know, fight our way up, and you know, post a respectable finish. I'm aiming to stay within the top fifty. That's going to be the aim for round three and four. Round three today, obviously, in this video. Round four tomorrow. At 6 p.m. UK time, 1 p.m. Eastern here, same, same time, same YouTube channel. Strong winds today, 12 mile an hour eastwards. Could could be interesting here out on out on the greens here. A little fast for a first swing. It's going to completely whiff the fairway and land on the left hand side. It's, uh, fasting it with the strong wind definitely didn't help there, that's for sure. Three iron might carry this one out. It's not it's obviously not gonna make it to the green, but if I aim for this bunker it might it might blow back in towards the fairway at least. Some heavy, heavy swing to it. Oh that's a nice bounce actually. That is a nice bounce. It's gonna go round and just off the green. That's a really good scramble recovery shot, if I must say so myself. Chipping for an eagle opportunity here on hole number one. Ten yards. Sent it. The I should have probably clubbed up to go uphill there. But we had a green regulation, we got our XP bonus. Putting 11 feet for birdie. A little bit of break going on here. Dial in. Oh, that's just going to go wide. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, but you know what? Par on first round, or par on the first hole, sorry. Seems to be par for the course. That was a that was a that was a terrible pun. I'm so sorry. I only realized what I was going to say about three quarters of the way through saying it, and I was just like, okay, well, I, <laughs> I was like, I'm kind of I'm kind of committed to saying this right now. I can't really pivot on the turn of phrase after I've said like seventy five percent of it. <laughs> so um, if you groaned watching that at home. Uh, trust me, I groaned once I realised what it was that I was about to say. <laughs> it's not just you. Okay, heavy winds blowing up into the pin here. 
If I overpower this, it should it should make it home. Overpowered and fast. It's, uh, that's not going to make it to the green. It's not even going to stay in the air, right? So I'm going to go in the heavy rough. That's okay. It is okay. We can we can work with this. We can splash up out of here with the sand wedge. And oh, that's very slow. You usually, don't get slow with the sand wedge. Was well, hit with enough power, but that's the, not enough accuracy there. But we still managed to scramble. We still managed to save power. And like I said, all I have to do is stick the course, stay as even as we can. Um. I just got a lot of... Okay, I'm just gonna pause. Uh, apparently, uh, I am getting a lot of YouTube notifications here. Um, they're not mine. That's interesting. Okay, none of those YouTube ra notifications that just played are mine. That's really weird, Streamlabs, what the hell? Anyway, we're going up 14 yards and into 13 mile an hour wind here, so this is gonna be a this is gonna be a tricky. I'm gonna club up here for this. Oh, this is going well wide. This is definitely this is de this is definitely gonna catch me out this this heavy wind. I know we played played really well uh, in heavy wind. A round or two ago, I can't remember where it was, but maybe it was three. Maybe it was maybe it was uh, three tournaments ago. But uh, they play very well with heavy wind there. But uh, not so much today. I thought I kind of thought you know it was like I'm used to this, but perhaps not. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm not used to playing golf on Wednesdays. And I usually record on either Sunday or Monday, but. Look, three powers out of three, that's not bad. Considering that we had that, like, notifications distraction in the middle there. I think we done alright. All things considered. And straight into, straight into those heavy winds again. It's slightly fast, but it's 104% power, so we still should get a decent carry out of this. 273. Ah. Could have been a lot better. I mean, I'm guessing. I guess it could have been a lot worse either. Uh, some of these days, well, I'll actually remember to bring a five iron with me. Today is today is not that day. Uh, I would say I'm probably going to be visiting the bunker on this round. Oh, that's very fast. Okay. Bounce wasn't terrible. Bounce was not terrible. We could still chip in. We're, eight, we're only 8 yards out. That's looking close. That's close enough for a tap and That's okay. That's another tap and it's another par. Perfectly fine. If we can if we can get out of if we can get out of this round and stay even, I think we're gonna be we're gonna find ourselves in a pretty good position. Wind well, seems to be fairing up a little bit. I wouldn't bet on it staying that way though. That's a good drive down the center. 308 yards. Good promising start to a far fi par 5. I think the 3 hybrid, with the wind, the 3 hybrid should get me close. It's very fast. Oh, 
Not really what I... Uh, not as close as I would have liked. But, uh... You know what? It's workable. We can still do something here. We can still do something here. That was very close. And we're going to tap it in for the first birdie of the round. Alright. Start could have went a lot better, but could have went a lot, lot worse. I still think we're in... I still think we're in a good position here. Fasted with a long drive. That's going to go far heavy rough. As long as it doesn't park itself behind that tree, I think we can do something with this. 13 mile an hour, heavy, heavy winds. I'm gonna aim over here to this bunker and let the wind carry, let the wind carry me into the green here. Might club up to the 7 iron, just to make sure that I get out of this lie penalty here. Fast and with the wind. Just gonna roll around the rim of the green. That's a nice subtle approach shot. I don't I don't think I could have made that any better if that was intentional. It looks like a pretty flat run here, Birdie. Doesn't look like there's much break happening. Rimmed out. That was unlucky. That was so unlucky. I just, I just drifted a little bit left. What? We're still one under on the round. Sure, it's uh, you know, it's not, it's not ideal leaving points on the table like that, but. You know, we're still only an up-and-coming golfer. We have we have room to make these errors because we're down in CCK division. You know, we're we're in a place where you know we can we can drop a couple of points and still get away with it. Sure, it won't put any wins on the board, but you know what? As long as as long as we keep uh, as long as we keep making the cut and. Keep posting respectable scores, you know, slowly but surely the pro promotion marks will start coming. And we might find our way moving up the rankings. Maybe not sooner rather than later, but, you know, soon enough. 32 footer for birdie here. With uh, some left right break and a little uphill section. That's not going to break anywhere near as much as I thought it would. Would have been very, would have been well powered as well. I think I got the power bank on. If the accuracy would have been there, I think that would have been in. Like it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have overshot or anything. Okay, now this is a spicy hole. This is a spicy hole. 28 feet drop, but you're shooting into the wind. I think, I think the seven iron will get us close here. A little bit fast, so it's not going to get us close at all. That's going to get us right into that sand trap. And unfortunately we're going to be up against it here, trying to get out of here to try and save power out of this. Beautiful splash shot, leaves us a nice open hole for par. Good scramble. Good scramble, a lot of pars on the board, one birdie. But all things considered, we're still not doing so bad. Ninth hole here, a little bit fast but the wind is going to keep it straight. 
And then he's going straight down that fairway for 303 yards. A solid, solid hit. We're going to four iron this, I think. It's going to drift a little right. We're right to club down. Maybe we should. Maybe we should have clubbed down to the. F I mean, oh, I guess we didn't have the five iron again. It's one of those things where it, I'm really regretting not taking a five iron here. I really got to put like a post-it note or something on my computer. It's like, hey, put a five iron in your bag. Fifteen feet for a birdie here. That's not breaking. I mean, don't get me wrong, I got. I did get close, but not. It didn't go in, that's the main thing. One under on the front nine. It's a good first. That's a, given the wind conditions, that's a solid first half for me. Like, I am not going. You're not going to hear any more complaints from me about, that, about a performance like that. You will hear complaints from me about drives like that. Like, even if it's a little bit fast, you know, with the wind going the way it is, that's still... That's still horrible to, you know, shoot drives that inaccurate. Double clubbed up to get out of there and managed to find my way onto the green as well, so... That's that's a good on right there. It's gonna leave us a bit far away from the pin. It's gonna leave us with oh, actually, it's not that far. It's only thirteen feet. Roll looks a little bit tricky, but this is makeable. Maybe not by me, but it's makeable. <laughs> Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Let's go. Ho -ho. Another birdie on the board. So we move closer to double digits. All right. This this is this is where I could get really interesting because going from my last couple of rounds, you know, water hazards and I, we're not friends right now. I mean, we never were, but especially now after the last <laughs> after the last couple of events. Okay. Uh, I think clubbing up to, clubbing up to the three hybrid. I think is going to be asking too much here. I can club up to the three iron, and at least you know make it onto the green here. It's a little bit fast. It's actually going to pull us in towards the hole a little bit, but we might overshoot. The overshoot has been confirmed. We're just on the fringe here. We're looking at a chip-in situation. Ah, oh, just wide. Just wide. Five feet for par, it's gonna drop. That's alright. Would have been nice to get the chip in. But, uh, again, partial shots. I've, I've, I've said this before and I've, I'll say it until I'm blue in the face saying it. Partial shots and I just don't get along very well. The three hybrids, that's definitely gonna overshoot the hole by a, like a wide margin. Three iron is probably going to be as close as I'm going to get. It's a little fast. It's going to kick left though. It's not where I wanted it to kick. I would like to kick right. It's going to roll back down. A little bit. Might leave myself with 
Oh, it's actually going to be not a bad approach shot here. Shooting 17 feet, relatively flat. There's a little bit of left to right break here. Not a huge amount, but that's makeable. That's makeable! Let's go! Ho -ho. Another birdie. We're 10 under. Slowly but surely, we are moving the needle this round. This is a four iron situation. Shooting right into 13 mile an hour wind. Oof. Don't like that fast. Come on, kick back towards. <sighs> Didn't have as good of a kickback as I would have liked there. But, uh. I'm gonna stick with the sandwich chip here, even though it's coming out of heavy rough here. But, uh. It is gonna kick off like a little bit of a downhill section. That's. I'm worried about the roll afterwards, you see. I was right to worry a little bit about that roll. Leave us with an interesting short little six footer for par. And it's in. And it's in. The no bogey round is still alive. That's great. Wind is going to keep it steady down that fairway. It's going to hit that bank and roll pretty nicely for us. Just shy of the 330 mark. It's a great first shot. That was a great first shot. If I fast it, the wind should keep it steady. I'm going to go with it. Six iron here. Just in case. Because of the low elevation. I was right to club down. But could have clubbed down another one though. That's left us a long way from home. 45 feet. This will be a very interesting eagle putt. Okay, that actually looks good. Oh, that's close. Closer than I... Closer than I anticipated, but still leaves me a, like a long way away from home here. 13 feet, relatively straight looking. A little bit uphill, for, but still for birdie. Jams it in. You know, you still, you still get birdies out of opportunities like that, you know, it's, it stings a little bit less. <laughs> Alright. Driver, send it. This fast, please stay on the fairway. I know you don't want to, but please. Okay, it's there, it's, it stayed on the fairway. For once it listened. For once it listened. Alright, pitching wise time here. It's a little fast, but man, that wind. Just gonna go straight up and straight down. Very little movement after the bounce there, despite despite landing on a little bit of a slope here. It's a heavy well maybe not maybe not like a heavy uphill, but like an orange to kind of red to kind of red here. It's going to break a little bit left to right here. Come on, go with the break, go with the break, go with the break. Let's go! Ho -ho! Woo! Oh, that one felt good. That one felt good. Oh, it was, it was breaking wide too. 
It was it was breaking way too. Oh, I'm, I'm delighted with that pot. I'm so happy with that. Okay, bold move here, but I'm going to aim like deep in for the rough here. Because I had a feeling something like that hap would happen. And I figured, you know what? If I'm playing out of the sand, it's a lot easier than playing out of the water. And it's not going to cost me an extra stroke penalty to do so. No, I'm, I'm going to take the safety 9 iron out here. If we land in fairway, we're not landing in water. Even though we landed in a bunker, a bunker is still safe compared to water. Six iron pitch shot should get me on the green here. Calculated. Calculated. Now, let's see me calculate this <laughs> bit of a break here. 23 feet. Oh, not quite enough. Over Overestimated there. And look, we play... We played that hole very safe. I will admit, if I think, I think if I'd attacked, if I had attacked a little bit more, I think we might have been able to get something there. But given the horrible wind conditions, I think the way we did play it, I think was the best option. I think it was the best option to take to go for there. Fast and wind carried. Right into the center of the fairway for 295 yards. Good start to the hole. Not Gonna take the 9 iron out here. What you're gonna, I know what people, I'm anticipating the comments being like, hey, why aren't you using shaped shots? It could definitely help you out here. Like, nothing's gonna help me in this wind. The only thing that'll help me is if I get, if I get a skills transplant from someone up near the top, like Steve Sloan. Even then, I might be asking a little bit too much. <laughs> Alright. Chipping for birdie here, from the edge. Oh, if I didn't partial shot that, I bet we would have got close. But, you know, it's still a par. It's still a par. We're still 12 under par. Going into this final hole in round 3 here. And we are still looking very, very good. Nice and safe in the middle of the fairway. 282 yards. Going to... I'm going to up to the 3 iron here. I mean, I could, I, could, I could attempt to partial this with a hybrid, but I don't feel comfortable doing so. A little fast with 102% power. Shoot. Bounce off on the outside of the fairway. I'm not going to quite make it all the way into the green. This is perfectly alright. We're in a good spot here. Might actually go up to the sand wedge here. A little bit slow. Left ourselves a nice tidy tap in. A couple of inches from the cup. 
We send it home. Bogeyless round. Zero bogey round. Especially in these wind conditions, you absolutely love to see it. That was that was a an amazing round of golf. All things considered, I I am going to call that a win. Uh, can't bring up. An amazing round of golf. Finish the back nine, four under, one under through the front nine. Move the needle, we're making progress. Hopefully it'll be better conditions on round four tomorrow. Hopefully you'll join me then. Have a good one. Enjoy your golf. I'll see you next time.